Alright folks, just going to take a few minutes here to talk about a new power supply that I picked up. I picked this up because I want to set up and play around with um, more powerful ham radios and potentially CB radios. And um, I have some batteries that I was using to charge or operate those things and I wanted to get something a little bit, uh, a little bit more durable and a little bit more reliable. So I went ahead and ordered this. I don't really know much about power supply, so this is a learning experience for me. And um, I ordered this one. It's manufactured by MFJ, which I think as a company has some mixed reviews. I believe this is Chinese made. and um, But it's my understanding that MFJ has gotten a little bit better um, as they've progressed. I haven't opened this. I haven't looked at it. I just took it out of the box that it was shipped in. And uh, one of the things I'm a little bit concerned about right out of the gate is I ordered this because it said it had analog meters and this says LED meters so it'll be interesting to see what's in there um, I don't know if it's a deal breaker for me or not I think I can get past it but I really did like this old school look anyhow it's supposed to be 3.7 pounds 25 amps it's a switching power supply so let's open it up and see what it looks like well, would you look at that we got some paperwork and it looks like this thing's packed in here pretty good hopefully I'll get it out nothing else in this box. It's all in this bag. And this looks to be, well maybe not, I was going to say it looks to be a sealed bag. But I think it's got an opening. Hey, would you look at that? It does have uh, it does have the analog meters. Let's go ahead and plug it in and uh, and see what we got. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Hopefully, I don't burn the house down. I don't know if you can hear that. There's a fan on there, and that uh, that's pretty loud. And it looks like I can uh, adjust the voltage a little bit. The lower I go, the lower the fan goes, so it looks like they're tied together. And then uh, here is a lighter input or output depending upon who you ask and where you're from, where you can use these poles. So anyhow, um, I'll get this hooked up to something and uh, we'll get to see it in use. Alright folks, just to finish this quick uh, show and tell, so what I have here is I have the uh, power supply and it is uh, powering up this uh, Juntai uh, ham radio that operates on 70 centimeters and 2 meters. It's the JT6188, which doesn't really matter a whole heck of a lot. But uh, anyhow, what I've got it tuned into is a local um, NOAA weather report. And uh, I was playing around tuning in some repeaters and stuff like that earlier, and it was working really well. <clears throat> so I'm very happy with this setup. A couple of different things. It does not give equal power out the 12-volt uh, uh, cigarette lighters it does if you use the power poles. And so that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, when you take a look at it, it looks like it's 7 amps. So I think 5 to 7 on here, and up to 25 on here. But uh, that's not a big deal, because I think that... Uh, this device isn't going to take any more than that, and, I, and I, so I think I'm fine, and I can also get an adapter and hook it to the poles if I wanted to. The other thing is is that I, I you can't really see because this light's kind of bright, and uh, but I can adjust the um, the voltage output of this, and when I do that, the uh, the radio gets dimmer, um, and it's not that I want to adjust it down to, to conserve on energy there, but when I turn it up, it actually has a detent and stops on uh, 3.8. I can go higher, um, but that detent's nice. So if it's darker, you can you can turn this knob and you can you can feel when when you get to where you want to be. And then the last thing on the back of this power supply, you can switch between 110 and 220 uh, electricity, like at your house. If you want to plug it into a 220 socket versus a 110, you can do that. So. Anyhow, that's it. I just thought uh, I'd do a quick show and tell, and we'll see how this thing uh, works for me in the future and, uh, and how it holds up. Anyhow, that's it, everybody. Thank you.